Hello everybody, this is Blender Innovations. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take uh, AI generated images and turning them into seamless PBR textures uh, by using Substance Sampler. Um, it's actually really easy. Uh, this will be a quick little how-to. It's a quick and dirty way. There are definitely more proper ways to do this that will get you more realistic results, but this will work uh, for most cases. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I am in the Mid Journey Discord, which is where you have to be in order to generate these images. Uh, Mid Journey is the AI that I'm going to be using. Um, they have their own patterns, textures channel that I'm going to be in just because the other ones get kind of crowded. Um, but yeah, it's, in order for this to work, you have to type forward slash and then imagine. Uh, so you're telling the AI what you want it to imagine and generate for you. Um, for textures, I've learned it's easy to just type in uh, texture 2D albedo uh, flat map because you don't really want a 3D image. It, it can work, but a lot of times it's blurry. So you want it as flat as possible uh, with not much lighting. But yeah, so let's just type in uh, medieval wood texture. Uh, and then commas will break up uh, what you're telling uh, the AI to think of. So you start off typing the initial thing you need and then everything that's secondary afterwards. So for me it's 2D, albedo, flat map, uh, 8K is always nice to add that in. Uh, the more detailed obviously the more uh, pinpointed you can make this but this is for a quick tutorial I'm gonna fast forward this part because it does take a little minute um, so yeah all right like I said it is gonna be pretty random just because I didn't really describe too much what I wanted um, but for the point of this video, this will work. I'm going to upscale the second image. Um, the U stands for upscale images one through four, and then the V is if you like it, but you want to see different variations on it, you can variate it uh, with V one through four. So I'm going to upscale image two, and then that'll make this, it'll add more detail as it gets larger. Um, so this takes even longer, so I'll speed this part up. And there we have it. So you click on the image uh, down at the bottom left here. You want to open the original because it'll be a much higher resolution. Uh, I'm going to right click and save this out. I have a bunch of random ones already. I'm going to rename this to wood tutorial texture because I've already tried recording this once. And that's all there is to that. Um, once you have the image, uh, when you open up substance uh, sampler, uh, this will be the opening scene and literally all you have to do is take your image wherever you saved it out um, Mine's right here. All you have to do is just drag it into the scene um, If you use it as a bitmap when you're importing it uh, You you can look up other tutorials because I'm not familiar with it, but apparently you can make it more realistic uh, better PBRs But because this is a quick and dirty method. I'm just going to use the AI powered image to material um, that that has worked fine for me so far. So just image to material and then hit OK And then this will generate uh, PBR Cool now as you can see it's not seamless um, But it did create what it thinks is the best PBR For it. Uh, sorry, you could probably hear my baby crying in the background. I apologize um, If you hit the space bar and then type in tile uh, I always just use make it tile. This will actually create it somewhat tiling. You can go into the top right here under properties. Um, as you can see, it's not the greatest. Um, the threshold is the size. The smoothness will dictate how sh jagged or smooth the edges are where it's uh, breaking up. And then the contrast will smooth out those edges. Um, so you just mess around with this till you find something you're happy with. Sadly, this one isn't working too well. 
uh, but it's the one I'm going with. I may just import one of my older ones that works better, uh, just because this is acting up on me. This doesn't look great, which, of course, it waits until I'm start starting to record to not be great. But I'm going to see if I can mess with this a little bit to get it better. That'll work for the point of this video. Like I said, this this image doesn't do it as great as some of the other ones. Uh, but this will work for the point of this video. You can still see it's not completely even. Uh, but when you're done with that, you hit the share button and then you export it out. I'm just going to name this Wood Tutorial. And then I'm going to select my AI wood piece. You select this and then whatever folder you want to output it to. And then these are all the ones you're, it'll be outputting. I don't need metallic. Uh, I don't need opacity. I don't need specular. Uh, base color and diffuse. I don't really know what the difference is there. But yeah, that'll work for this. Export it out. And then that'll do that. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Blender now, just to show you guys how to utilize this. Uh, I'll just keep the default cube, uh, just because I do also want to showcase the showcase the height map. I am going to subdivide this and use the displacement, just to show y'all that it does work pretty well. Add a displace modifier new um, this checkerboard pattern down at the bottom here browse to the folder that you exported it out to which mine is going to be under textures I have so much stuff wood 2k AI wood date modified which was today I'm going to choose the height map um, and that's what's going to displace this Switch this under the displace. Oh, sorry, my baby girl's screaming. All right, switch that to displace. Switch it to UV. And then turn down the strength. Why? Something's going on here. Oh, I see what's going on. I forgot to subdivide that. There we go. Um, I'm going to map this from non-color to twice and then in the shading tab I'm going to control shift T if you have the node wrangler add-on uh, control shift T allows you to browse to your textures and then all you have to do is select all the ones you want to connect up automatically to the socket in my case it's these right here um, principal texture setup switch this to two because that's what we have it displaced as uh, an EV you're gonna want to turn on ambient occlusion and set this to like four four um, I usually render in a higher contrast all right so as you can see um, it's not perfect but this is absolutely fine for most applications um, and this this is 100% unique on um, this PBR I literally just created it from scratch really quickly and it it doesn't take much effort at all uh, like I said render it out in the AI bring it into sampler make it tileable and you're good to go and if and I could show you with the cavity on here switch the matte cap over to something more wood like um, the displacement 
in comparison to what the actual texture looks like. It's really not doing a horrible job for the amount of effort that we spent on this. Uh, but yeah, sorry this tutorial was kind of all over the place, um, but I just wanted to share how someone could go about making their own materials fairly quickly with the AI tech that's coming out. I personally feel like this technology is going to help us out more so than it will take over. So yeah, thank you for watching.